Welcome back to the Surffront Channel. Week 16 of Ironman California training is complete. I have less than three weeks left until race day. I've got one more week of peak training and then I go into two weeks of taper. Right now I'm just wrapping up a Tuesday middle distance run and wanted to quickly go over how week 15 went. Let's see, the week with 15, I got three runs, two bikes, and two swims in, plus two sessions of strength and conditioning, which included sled pushes and pulls, farmer carries, deadlifts, laps around the building, a bunch of cardio equipment. So that is awesome. I love those classes. And as far as the swims go, two medium distance swims, a couple thousand yards each. And my runs totaling, I think it's 21 miles total for three runs, nothing crazy, no double digit runs in week 15. But I did get in my second century ride of the training block, 100 mile bike ride on Saturday. 101 miles actually. Uh-oh, I forgot my butt butter is chafing in my future. I should be okay. I've got running shorts underneath my bike shorts, so I should be fine. But bummed, I forgot to bring that. It took me five hours and 38 minutes. And we went to the Santa Ana River Trail, which is mostly flat, almost entirely flat. And it's a two loop course, goes out 25, comes back 25. We did it twice. Quite similar, I think, to the Sacramento course. Flat and two loops with kind of wind as well. Actually, Saturday's weather was quite crazy. It was a little drizzly, a little wet on the first 25 mile out. And then the weather got really sunny as we got to the beach. Beautiful weather on the beach. We headed back to the start at mile 50. And then when we made that, started that second loop to go back out from mile 50 to 75, <clears throat> the winds got crazy. Winds just headwind right in the face. And my, my speed dropped from, we were doing maybe 18 to 19 miles per hour average dropped down to, I was looking down my watch and seeing 12 miles per hour. I wanted that over with. I was miserable on that mile 50 to 75. I didn't want anything to do with that trail anymore. I was over it. I just had to just grit and grind my way to get to the, the turnaround to head back for the final 25, knowing that we'll have a mostly tailwind. And the weather got crazy right there. The Rain picked up, the wind got even stronger, leaves blowing everywhere. Uh, it was a pretty crowded, busy day of e-bikers and other, other cyclists out on that trail, causing quite the chaos, I should say. Nevertheless, I vowed I would never ride the Santa Ana River Trail again. I was bored. I was bored, just straight up bored. Well, I wasn't having fun anymore. I knew that this was going to be good for me. I, I need to learn to be within myself and find ways to get through those really rough patches, those rough moments where I'm mentally not in it and I'm just physically not able to really put any power or effort, the effort that I feel I can put into it. The bike is my worst. I still feel like I don't have the mechanics down correctly on the bike to put enough power and watts into my ride because my training partner Marchin was 20 minutes faster than me and when we were heading out into the into the wind I was just I was getting passed by other cyclists yeah they were in their tri bikes into in their aero position with their tight tight onesies and two pieces and I'm I've just got a road bike with clip-on aero bars. I'm not very aero and I'm wearing baggy clothes, but that's no excuse. I know that a cycling isn't my strong, uh, isn't my strong sport. 
but I still got the 100 miles done. I feel really good about that. So it was a good week. It was a good week of training. And there's just one thing to take away that is of slight concern to me. That would be these pains I've been having in both my feet. They, the pains in both my left and right feet, they feel the same. Eight miles into my run now. And now my left foot is just killing me. I cannot actually run right now. First my right foot at mile two, now my left foot at mile eight. Oh, there it is, already starting to feel better. It's so wild that I can walk it off after about a minute. And they kind of come and go, but when, I, when I'm running and when I do feel them, I have to walk. I can't run through the pain and I just kind of walk the pain off. It's nothing like I've ever experienced in my 20 plus years of running. And it could quite possibly be the shoes that I've been training in. Could be the combination of the bike and the bike shoes, my mechanics there and the gear I have for the bike, plus the runs, those long runs. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm not wearing those shoes anymore. I'm, I'm retiring those shoes. And I'm actually on a run today and my feel feel great. So super stoked on that. Yeah, also one last thing too. Nutrition on the ride. In the last video, I think I went over my nutrition, my plan for it anyways, and I executed on that this, this Saturday's ride, 100 miles. I ended up taking two bottles of Gatorade Endurance Formula with me. And I drank just one bottle in the first lap of 50 miles, which probably wasn't ideal. I should have at least, I should have had both bottles. So on the second lap, I did drink both the bottles. They're 24 ounce bottles. So all in all, four bottles, 24 ounce Gator Endurance Formula. I drank three. I, ha I had my spring gels at 45 minutes. I had my Uncrustables. Um, I had my, I didn't take any caffeine gels and I did have a Coke at mile 50 and a banana. So I feel, that fueling strategy worked well and so that's that's positive i don't think that had any effect my nutrition was not a factor in my lack of output uh in the third quarter of my ride i guess it was just boredom <laughs> so all right anyways that's week 15 week 16 is already here i'm already in it it is a it's another 12 hour week uh, i've got a long brick on saturday that's the difference this week i've got a four hour ride and an hour and 40 minute run on saturday and an open water swim which i hope to do 2.4 miles on sunday yeah that's week 16. i'm trying to figure out who am i right now am i rocky who has run up the stairs and is dancing and boxing up there triumphantly knowing he's unstoppable training has gone perfect and he feels strong or am i forrest gump who replies i'm tired i think i'll go home now i'm not sure which one i am i'm in my peak this is the peak week my final peak week and do i feel at the peak of my fitness I think, yeah, you know, if I, if I honestly answer myself, I will say I do feel quite fit right now, but I'm also feeling quite tired and uh, sore, and I've got some miscellaneous pains. All right, so that's a wrap for week 15 of Ironman training, 18 weeks total, once again, less than three weeks to go until race day. So it's getting down to the wire right now. Look at this beautiful, evening run right now the weather this week is going to be ideal for training here in southern california so looking forward to that hope you're liking these videos hope you enjoy them if you are hit the like button subscribe and if you're training for ironman california i wish you nothing but success and also hope to see you there i feel like i'm in a good spot right now for sure this week i need to figure out what i'm going to wear on the race I do know one thing that I'm going to do, and that is I'm going to do a full change, a full wardrobe change for the bike and the run. 
So what I swim in won't be what I ride in, and what I ride in won't be what I run in. I think that's going to help me. That's going to help me treat each of those independently of each, of each other and allow me just to focus on that one sport at a time and not get caught up into the big picture of things. And yeah, that is a tip from a buddy of mine who's done multiple Ironman events. And I think I'm gonna go with that. Okay, that's it. I'll see you next week. Surfrun Channel out. See you next week.